Hi guys, how you guys doing? Thank you so much for being with us. Another one and another one. Yes, another one for you guys today. This is, as always, just us people. Yes, it is the platform that you guys love. It is the platform of people, for the people, by the people, to the people, you know. And on this platform, I'm just going to kind of reintroduce us. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is so I'm going to reintroduce just us people. This is the platform where you come, you express your, your, your opinions, you express your thoughts, you express what you're thinking, how you're feeling. And this allows for people that do not think like you, that do not think like us to see that there are other people that think differently and understand why those people think that way and also for people that do think similarly to say hey i'm not alone now guys thank you so so much for being here we have something incredible as always juicy juicy subject so be ready put your seat belts on and we're going on the right but before we go to that i want to introduce myself i am mokonzi and my co-host, wonderful, Shadia. Shadia, say hello real fast. Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're so glad to have you here. Thank you for pressing play. Um, there's a few more things, just reminders to uh, press some other buttons. If you get a, a second, just make sure you press that like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you comment any feedback you have for our video today and make sure that you share the video so other people can hear this discussion and engage via comments and social media. So just don't forget those things. That is the greatest support you can give. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Shadia. And Shadia said it all. Now, Shadia, what do we have for today? Oh, okay. So today's topic, it's a fun one. Um, I enjoy talks like this. So uh, the topic question is, do Black people police each other? And if so, why? And if not, why not? Uh, so, yeah, it's a good one. That's a do. You want to go first or you want to go one. first? <laughs> no, you can, please, ladies first. Okay, I'll go first. Black people. Do black people police each other? Yes, definitely they do. Now, uh, do I believe it's just always like on some like brown nosing? Not necessarily. But I do believe as a lot of the things within our lives are residual effects of the things that happened to our ancestors, I believe that sometimes black people feel superior to one another when they do that so i see mcconzie doing something and i tell someone whoever the but tell you know i don't know somebody about it and i feel like because i told on mcconzie and i'm not doing that thing i'm better i'm doing better in life i'm not going to get in trouble and mcconzie's going to be you know whatever less than me because now i'm going to get a leg up because i told on him so i'm closer to whoever i told and also, I'm moving up in whatever I'm moving up in. But in general, the the really sad part about that, um, and I'm not going to dive into it too much, but just kind of tie it in to Black people policing each other. Um, it's just another example of the lack of unity that Black people have. And it's unfortunate because that lack of unity causes so much damage to our community. Um, so in that policing each other, there's a way to do it. And there's a way to do it that doesn't make anyone be under the bus. There's a way to do it that doesn't make anyone feel less than or, or greater than. If I'm correcting you, McConzie, I'm going to do it with love and care and genuinely want to see you do better. And I'm not going to police in a way like I'm going to tell someone about you or I'm going to pose some sort of punishment on you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna correct you. 
and I'm gonna try to assist you in doing better in the future. And I won't do it for any personal gain. I'll do it because I care about you. And the same goes for you know fellow blacks with one another. It's like you want to, you know, get ahead or whatever the purpose is. Most of the time it's a selfish purpose, right? And so I'm gonna police you and I'm gonna be all over you because I wanna see something better for myself. But if we could take a step back and realize that the more we help one another, the more we grow as a whole, then we can stop doing things like that. We can stop trying to, oh, I saw you do this, I'm telling. Oh, I saw you do that, I'm telling. No, I saw you do that and I'm gonna let you know that's gonna get you in trouble. But I'm not gonna be the one to get you in trouble. I'm just gonna let you know like, cause then if I see you get in trouble, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I told you. Yeah. You listen, yeah. So. But yeah, all in all, I do believe black people police each other, and it's a very sad thing, and even scary to the extent that, like, you know, when you're policing someone, you know those instances where it's like you do a small act of telling, but then something greater happens. So I call, you know, I call the police, or I do something against. Um, someone because I want to get ahead or whatever the reason and then when the person comes the authority figure comes to correct it something really horrible happens to that person as a result of me policing them in a way that was not conducive to their progress or my own yeah. you know it was more selfish but if we can selflessly but I don't even think the word policing is negative it can be but if we positively and supportively enforce or encourage or you know remind one another of progress and progressive things I think it would go a lot better than you know just trying to move up for yourself or have selfish intentions I hope that makes sense <laughs> that, oh that, <laughs> that, that I mean I mean there were so many so many times I wanted to kind of jump in because you brought like all good things that I didn't even th think about and things that I've thought about, you basically touched on all the points. But yes, um, yes, I, I also I agree. I think that it is, it is a sad, you know, uh, it is a sad reality that we are here today. And I think that is contributing uh, to where the Blacks are in the world, right? So we're gonna look at the history of it as you as you brought up as well, where when you go back, um, even in Africa, in Africa, they were, you know, uh, uh, br basically bribing the people, you know, for them to bring uh, like potential slaves or, you know, rebels or anything like that. Rebels, they weren't rebels. There were people that wanted the good of their people, right? And saw that uh, there was there was danger with these people, uh, these invaders coming in and uh, imposing their power. And then now you end up looking at it from <clears throat> the side of the the the, uh, the the black Americans. And when you're looking at the black Americans, you see how they used to say this person is the, the house, you know, and that person is the outside uh, person. So, uh, and, and when you look at that, the person that was inside was charged, right, to keep an eye on the other people, right? The people that were in the field, right? The blacks that were in the field um, and tell on them or even punish them. And what he would be getting is he would be getting a title and a, a better uh, position, right? Eat better food and so on and so forth. Better food, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Just as as he was as he was thinking, so that has translated into what we see today. So what we see to, today, in in my observations uh, that I've seen in 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 America and even in Africa as well, is that, for example, you have something that ends up happening to one of us, 
uh, a well-known person uh, of our community and the community either doesn't come to their rescue, doesn't take their side, right? Like, hey, you know, I understand he did wrong, but we're gonna be we're gonna be with you. So they don't the community won't support the person. The community um, instead, if they don't support the person, the person instead of just being quiet and letting it go. Uh, they have the tendency to come and now to condemn, right? Mm -hmm. They go ahead and start condemning and looking down upon that person saying, yes, he deserves it. He or she did it. You know, it's, it's their fault. They knew what this could have, could have turned into, right? And like Sh Shadia, you just said, uh, you brought up a, a wonderful point. When I'm looking at other communities, even African communities as well, or, you know, uh, uh, Black communities, but little smaller pockets of communities, and you look at uh, the Hispanic community, you look at the Asian community, you look at the, even the white community, how they were able to, um, to be so successful. They stuck together you know, when things happen, right? So when something happens, unity is your strength, right? So they knew that the unity is their strength, but within that unity, it does not mean that we're just gonna allow wrongdoing and be okay with wrongdoing, right? No. We are going to, as you said, as you well said, well phrased it, formulated it, is that we are going to correct this person, right? So now, when you look at police and what police actually means, I'm going to kind of read a little bit of it. Uh, they are uniformed individuals who are responsible for keeping law and order intact. They are a group of personnel who are there to enforce laws to prevent any kind of civil disorder, save lives, and punish criminals. So when you say say a police, police is for punishment. But once you have punished someone, you can't leave it at a punishment place, right? Because you know the way I was thinking about it when I when when this um, this subject came to mind was that when you are part of a family, a loving family, most of the time what you what you see in a loving family, when one person in that family is in trouble, regardless of if they did something wrong or not, right? You're part of a group, uh, you know, a smaller group, regardless of if you were in the wrong, when they come, they always take your side to take care of you, to save you. When they come, they come to protect you and to retrieve you. When they come, they come to love on you first. And once that process has been done has taken place the process of loving the process of of of, of protecting of saving you, you know then they move into the next process which is the process of correcting and the process of also um, giving the person the right tools you know uh, mm -hmm. for them to now change their life and progress to something better. So mm -hmm. that to me, when you see something like that happen, when you see that continuously take place, then you see progress in whatever that group is. Because people, like we used to joke with some of my friends, um, you know, some, 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 some of us would joke and say, uh, you know, you're born a suspect, right? Because you're black. But 
nobody, nobody in this whole world, I don't care what color you are, I don't care what culture you're from, I don't care what level of, of uh, monetary, you know, economy you, you're in, financial level of, of your family. You're not, you don't, you, you're not, you don't get, you know, born or, or you don't just grow up thinking, I want to be a gangster, mm -hmm. right? You think when you ask a kid, when you ask a kid, any kid, what do you want to be? You very, like, I've never seen it, but maybe it exists, but that will be like the 1% or the 0.5% that will say, I want to be a gangster when I grow up. You know, you never, <laughs> you never see that, which means what? Which comes to my point. My point is, which means there is inside of us that chance of wanting to do better. And if there is that chance of wanting to change our ways, why don't we as a community uh, uh, empower the people to actually do that, to get better? And once you do that enough, the community, even the, uh, all the people of the community start uh, just conducting themselves in that way, right? Knowing that, okay, even if I, I fail, I am not going to be looked down upon and I will have a chance to redeem myself. Because a lot of people say, I want to redeem myself. You know, regardless of what they've done, they always say, I want to, you know, amend for, 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 for my wrong. So let's be that kind of community, a community that actually empower, that actually help, that actually gives a space, you know, for, uh, for, for each other to, to be able to grow and progress um, and, 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 and get better progressively to do bigger, better things and impact each other in a better way than also um, impacting the world in, in the best of ways instead of us jumping. Because what also happens is other communities have the tendency to look down upon us and to condemn us, right? And then we can be, we can be part of the problem also because that is us becoming part of the problem by saying he's wrong, he's wrong. He's wrong, but what's the solution? Oh, you, you were just gonna punish, punish him. And then if you punish him, isn't he, is he going to learn what he did wrong or she did wrong, right? No, you need to, to have that conversation. You need to be able to correct them. But uh, yes, thank you guys. That's, that's all I had to say. I don't know if you Shadia, I see Shadia shaking her head over there. Maybe she's got more. But, uh... <laughs> no, no, I don't have, I'm agreeing with you. Like, as you're talking, I was just not like, yeah. And then have that conversation, like, as you're saying, I'm just going along with it. No, I'm, I'm agreeing. I don't have anything. You really, you always cover it. Like you say, I, I do all the topics, but you get to stuff that I didn't even think of. So yeah, definitely good stuff, good stuff. I definitely appreciate, you know, the the agreeance that we have that a lesson is a lot better than a punishment and a lesson goes yeah. a lot further than a punishment so i think it's a major right. thing to take note of um but one thing i was wondering so when i said earlier like as far as if i teach you something and then you go against that um or in general you know does that person then just take a step back and give up or do they go uh, they didn't quite get it now they got to learn the hard way but when they get back I'll try to teach it again you know what I mean like do we at some point say I, I'm not policing you I'm not doing any of that anymore I've tried and you you just don't get it yeah no no I totally uh I, I think what we need to do is I feel like we are we might be at a, at a disadvantage here where we can't continue shaming our people regardless 
of if they continue doing it, right? Mm -hmm. We need to kind of change gears and, you know, speak life into our community because everybody, a lot of the, the other communities <clears throat> come and shame because, you know, media is behind a lot of these things, but uh, so, some media, not all media, but um, they would go and shame our people. But yeah, I understand. Some people keep falling and yeah. keep falling, but it has to be a, um, uh, a sort of a system that is set in place where, you know, we can go and somehow reach that person where that person is you know mm -hmm. sometimes it's it's hard uh when you don't have the right set up the right system in place to be able to do that but what you're saying is absolutely right because if you have someone that now is using abusing this love right this uh ability to uh you know to amend for themselves then before you know it they will take advantage of that and continue doing that because they know hey nothing is gonna happen to me that's wrong my people will take care of, of me regardless no we're still gonna allow punishment we're still going to correct that person so when the process of correction and the process of punishment, but not just punishment for the sake of punishment or punishment right. without a plan, right? Mm -hmm. But with correction in the back, when that happens and when that is a continuous process, I think someone at some point will see that, okay, these people keep talking about correction and there's no place with them you know to do this to to be to, to be wrong in this way so mm -hmm. if i go out there now and continue doing it and they keep correcting me at some point that person themselves will be at a place where there there's an impasse for them right because they can't mm -hmm. go back to the to the to the, to the community because the community will just say you come here we're gonna you know first give you some punishment second correct you put you back on the right path and then we're gonna empower you and 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 trust you so you know there's a little bit of a push and pull there that puts a person a a a, a re re repeat offender in such a such a hard a hard place because they're like oh okay i can't be a repeat offender if i do that and yeah sometimes you gotta let them go but instead of being the ones that keep putting the 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 finger pointing the finger you let that person go and say oh yeah you know i heard as some someone of a different of a different uh community say oh well this person da 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 da, da. you're like oh cool you know, I understand what they did and what they did is, is totally wrong, but you're not like, oh, the first to go at it, you know, like we see a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was my only question about what we talked about. I just, that was good stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and let me share mine. No problem. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much. This was another one and another one. This was another great one that we just had. Me and Shadia just, you know, digging in. As always, we're looking for you. We're looking for the next Mokonzi, the next Shadia to come up here and debate us, you know, <laughs> with love, with love always, you know. And uh, no hate, no discrimination, no separation. This is a uniting platform as always. Now, don't forget to like, comment down there, you know, um, 
subscribe, share, turn on the notifications. You guys know, know the deal. I have nothing to say. And I just want to say this as I always do before I close. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. And everything in between. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Blessings. Tons of love to you guys. Enjoy whatever time of day it is. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Shadia, do you want to just say goodbye Thank real you. quick? Bye. Thank you, everybody. As always, we appreciate it. Be blessed. Bye. Bye. See you guys on the next one.